second speaker today is Cherie Wallace with her speech entitled, Am I Enough? Am I Enough, Cherie Wallace? You want to be a personal trainer with a body like that? <laughs> You want to join Toastmasters? What could you possibly have to say that anyone would want to listen to? You want to start a business? No one will buy from you. Would you speak to a friend like that? Of course not. It's rude. So why do we speak to ourselves like that? And why do we listen? Contest Chair. Fellow Toastmasters and guests. I have a chatty little friend in my head that I call the evil cow. <laughs> she is constantly telling me that I'm not good enough. Don't apply for that job, you're not good enough. Don't join Toastmasters, you're not good enough. Don't start a business, you're not good enough. You're not good enough. You're not enough. Put your hand up if you set goals at the start of every year. Do you achieve them? <laughs> I set goals every year and I tell myself this year is not going to be like last year. Or the year before that. <laughs> or the year before that. <laughs> I set amazing goals. Not little walk in the park goals. Marathon goals. Sometimes overwhelming goals but they're all set out perfectly in a perfect spreadsheet <laughs> with the perfect connolly, with the perfect run height and the perfect font. Because if you don't have the perfect font, you can't possibly achieve your goals. <laughs> <laughs> of course, everything is colour-coded. Sometimes I might create a vision board with beautifully matched photographs on a beautiful background that matches my office. <laughs> Everything is perfect, so I share it with the world. <laughs> Come to the end of the year, nothing has changed. I check my spreadsheet, it's all there. I check the vision board, it's definitely all there. I scratch my head, what happened? Two things happened. First, I shared my goals. I watched a TED talk recently by Derek Sivers about goal setting. He refers to research that suggests some people, like me, get their sense of achievement when they share their goals. <laughs> <laughs> that feeling of, I did that! It comes in the telling rather than the doing. <laughs> yourself so that you're more inclined to keep working towards them. The second thing that happened was the evil cow in my head. <laughs> you're not good enough. You're not good enough. You're not enough. Over the past few months I've been engaging in purposeful positivity and I've done this in a few ways. I have removed myself from social media pages and groups full of people who are constantly whinging and whining <laughs> and filled with hate and negativity. It's exhausting. <laughs> I don't respond to friends' negative social media posts. And I stay away from negative conversations or I try to turn them around to find that silver lining. I've created a wall of positivity at work full of great quotes right in my line of sight. And I take personal, positive actions every day. I have a great little book called The Daily Promise, filled with positive passages. And I've created a dream box, filled with my personal goals, written out in the present tense, rolled into scrolls, and tied with a string. Every day before work, I open the book to a random passage and read the page. Sometimes it's totally relevant to how my day pans out, and sometimes it's not, and I just tuck that away. I open my dream box, take out a scroll, unroll it, and read my goal. I then immerse myself in that goal the entire time I'm in the bathroom getting ready for work. 
One of my favourites is, I surround myself with great people. I'll spend the next 10 to 15 minutes talking about all of the fantastic people in my life. How they enrich me. Why I'm grateful for them. And I speak out loud as if I'm speaking to an audience. I start every day walking out the door feeling fabulous. I'm keeping my goals to myself. I'm recognising the negative self-talk. I'm putting the evil cow on mute. <laughs> oh, but she is persistent. She's like a spoiled brat. Listen to me! I can't hurt her to unmute her just for a minute. Unmute. You're not good enough! Turn her off! I choose to live my life intentionally. I am good enough. I am enough. Do you have a chatty little friend in your head? Do you think it's time to be kinder to yourselves so that you can rise up to achieve your goals? I want you to ask yourselves, are you enough? In your speech, you talked. Your speech was entitled "Am I Good Enough?" and you talked about that evil cow that you've got in your head, or <laughs> <laughs> internal critic that we all have. And you talked about how you're able to silence that critic. Uh, can you give us some of those, some tips on how you're able to do that? Uh, I think I said I'm learning to. Put it on. <laughs> <laughs> She's still there. Um, I think it is. It is just. Um, I have for years suffered from depression and anxiety, and uh, I, I last a couple of, about a year ago, I had a massive anxiety attack, and um, I went really, really low, and I had to tell myself, just pretend to be happy and positive until you actually are really there. So I thought it'd take a few months, and it actually took about two weeks, and so that became a thing that I did if I actually practice positive. Um, things every day it did have me I was in a better frame of mind so that's that's one thing that I'm doing and, and at my club room she wasn't the evil cow she was something else patch to change it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so that's what I do I, I, I actively practice positive positivity um, and then it just sets off those endorphins and you you are feeling better I don't I still have down days but mostly there are days now so yeah. fantastic First place winner for the international speech contest, and drum roll, <laughs> is Cherie Wallace. <laughs> Who's not good enough there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know what I'm doing with my wedding anniversary now. <laughs> <laughs>